All right, booth 11. Ours lock? Huh. Let's take a look, shall we? That is why I'm here. Blood. Fresh. Not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. I thought it was based around where I was looking, or where I was looking, not where I was standing. Where is this blood? Are there supposed to be blood stains here? I don't see anything. Even with the scan, it doesn't bring anything up. It just shows a little icon. See, see what? Nothing there. Exactly. There should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. They rip it out? Wonder why. That could mean something. Flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass. What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? The, the client both didn't do harm or get harmed. They just took off. Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. A netrunner? Weird. Maybe kind of like what happened to T? Oops. Didn't mean to play that again. I don't think we're going to get anything else from that. Well, it's definitely convenient that they had that level of, uh, recreation tool. They did all the work for me. That was nice of them. Can you stop being in my way? Can we talk? Wait, he doesn't- oh, he doesn't even stop you from coming in here. <laughs> I thought- I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am! No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog! I'm taking it up with you, here, now! You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there! From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're going to have to escort you outside. Oh, no shortage of wise asses. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. Need to piss first. <sighs> Is that real blood up there? Oh! Just kind of slid towards me. Wait, did you just stop guarding the door? I can just walk. I can just walk in. Second floor is for VIP customers only. Are you supposed to still be guarding that door? What's going on? Hello. What do we got here? Uh, 1C551CBD. There we go.
Are we hoping to just steal from him or something? Uh, do I... Do I have to kick his ass? That's how I get my inside. <laughs> Don't pick up a drink by the urinal. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, how do I stash his body? Can I close one of these doors? They're not, they're not interactive. The bathroom doors aren't interactive in this game. Okay. Well. <laughs> Add it to the list. And here I go with my access granted. So I guess there must have been like a scanner that was going to get me if I came in. And I would have been in trouble. Now I have until that guy wakes up. Although I'm not really convinced people wake up in this game necessarily. Anything. Yeah. Whatever stands to fuck me up the quickest. Hard day. Motorcycle. More like hard life. A washing machine has a motor. Kelly. Multiple parallel conversations at once. You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. You could just like go away and stop complaining all the time. A foodie guide to Night City. The world traveler in Night City is faced with a dilemma. Enjoy the local cuisine or save their gut the trouble. If you don't own a trauma team policy, you're probably better off sticking to the tried and tested chains and exclusive restaurants. But if you do, Night City is full of risk that packs a lot of reward. Here's our risk reward breakdown of Night City's good eats. That's fucking terrifying. Here's some fun places to eat if you uh, have uh, very good medical insurance. For the cautious consumer. Blue. A gourmet dining experience with some of the highest accolades and richest portfolios in the city. If you're after high quality, locally sourced ingredients, Blue is the place for you. Among its marquee dishes are authentic caviar, oysters, and imported prosciutto. The alabaster white interior adorned with minimalist decor is perfect for a relaxing night out following a day of hustle and bustle. Pepper and Spice. Another unique locale on the culinary map of Night City. This eatery was founded by renowned travel icon Tony Halik. It stands apart from the competition thanks to its diverse menu of transcontinental fusion dishes, most of which are offered at surprisingly reasonable prices. Caribbean, Polish, Kenyan, it's all here. Not just in the combination you've seen before. The crowd favorite? Halik's own vanilla dumplings. For the gutsy gourmand, buck a slice. According to urban legend, the NCPD has an entire file on the mysterious deaths of homeless people whose last meal was pizza from buck a, buck a slice. True or not, bargain seekers living on a euro dollar a lunch budget should be prepared for gastrointestinal distress. Worth the risk? Well, if you want a greasy slice of authentic Night City flavor. Plus, their secret recipe, Chili Spurt Scoparoni, is unlike anything you've ever tasted, but only available on special request. Is... Is it a place that has good taste, or is it a place that's incredibly cheap? Because those don't usually mix well. Like, if, like if, if it's a dollar menu kind of thing, you're not going to get, like, cool, authentic city flavor. You're going to get, like, recycled trash. Rulai. At Rulai, you'll find all of the three P's. Potent, punchy, and pungent. Every visit uh, to this local favorite is like playing a game of Chinese roulette. What's Chinese roulette? Regulars at, Raul, at, at Rulai claim you're just as likely to get bearable egg rolls and halfway decent ragoons as you are tainted tofu and Sichuan salmonella. You've been warned. It really does like, seem like the best advice is just to not eat it. Why is the sushi just sitting around? Nobody wanted tamago? Is this supposed to be someone's food and they forgot it or something? Who is Lizzie Wizzy pretending to be? We are who we pretend to be and I pretended to be everything. That's why I found the truth. Lizzie Wizzy is an artist par 
excellence. Her work includes award-winning albums and concert tours, film appearances, as well as, for lack of a better term, conceptual performance art. Her latest artistic obsession features the medium of, of brain dance. In recent interviews, Lizzie has mused about the boundary between our documentation of reality versus our active shaping of it. Could that mean Lizzie Wizzy plans to scroll her own BD? We can only dream. The chance to live just one day in her chrome skin. Fans would go wild. Oh yeah, I'm good. Got some new you are who you pretend to be, and I've pretended to be everyone. So I guess this icon is not especially useful, because all it really does is indicate that they are armed, or that they will fight, I guess, if something happens. It doesn't interact that they're- it doesn't say they're interactive, it doesn't indicate territory. Like, I saw this icon on police, and they get ag- they get ag they aggro when I approached them, so I was like, okay, don't- don't fuck with these people. But I was able to walk right past the guy that was- had that icon at the door earlier. And I guess this guy just mean- that just means that he's a punchy boy, so he'll- he'll get into a fist fight with you. Is what they're trying to say, as opposed to just cowering. I guess that's the idea. I thought people with this icon like aggro if you t if you crowd them like the police do, but that's just the police. The icon doesn't help communicate much with the police. But that's just somebody who will attack if something happens here. I'm trying to read this. Oh, the Watson Whore Diary. We've been there. We've done that one. I know it. These guys keep looping the same conversation about their planning. Is that Tom? Are you Tom? I don't know your name. Can I ask you about Tom? Bartender? I guess I just go in. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Relax. You don't need any data, don't need any deets. I'm not a customer. I'm here to talk. To you specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Try calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her booth. Ah. Uh, you know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants, recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. I can't push him on which name it was. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest, but everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Maybe he's called Woodman because he defeated a big bad wolf, cut him open, filled his billy belly with stones, and threw him into a lake. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh. That's what oh, yeah, they should okay. be replacing. Got some new hardware. <laughs> Motorcycle, not mo A washing machine has a motor. Uh, can we? Is that still Woodman? 
Like, he's, like, looping over and over again in that back room, isn't he? But he yells so loud, everyone in this entire place is hearing that looping conversation over and over again. Whoa. That's very one way. Like, there's no- you can't even tell there's a window here on this side. Let's see. These are just data mining opportunities? Okay, so... BD1C55. Get the money back I lost for the, the boxing match I'll never repeat. Uh... Uh-oh. Is he coming? No, okay. I thought I was in trouble there. I could use camera shutdown, so E955. I don't know how I'm ever supposed to take that long to do it. I guess if I just don't go in with a plan? I'm a little surprised the timer doesn't just start immediately, instead of letting me plan. Okay, so the cameras are turned off. I don't think... Th Does it have a time limit? For how long it works? see storage what was that did I get an eyeball icon just now from you like you saw me Okay, so the cameras are turned off. I just need the guards not to be looking at me. There's that guy and that guy. I can't even pretend to belong. I can't even take a seat to, to like pretend to blend in. Like oh, they'll never suspect me as I awkwardly stare at them. figure out what that conversation is and I don't think I get it. Okay, so let's be careful here. Is that my goal right there? Hey, let's not get caught by him. <laughs> Hello, sir. No clients allowed in here. That's fine. Bear room and close the door on your way out, would you? Or as you can see, I'm very busy. Oh, we're gonna get busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Nah, you could do better. Try Roxy over a booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Oh, I see. Of course I'm. They call you Woodman, right? That because you have as much charisma as a tree stump. Somehow, I doubt you understand the situation. Situation? What situation? Think I'll give a cat's turd about every limp dick who walks through here? Right, we're done here. And I'll be sure to let your bosses know how you treat your customers. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. First off, I highly fucking doubt you know who my boss is. If you did, you wouldn't be calling her my bosses. And on second thought, think I'll take you to my car now. Just to see the look on her face when you tell her whatever it is you make up on the way. She hates lying assholes as much as I do. 
But we all deserve a laugh, don't we? If I were you, I'd run the cash angle. It's practically written on his face. F-R-A-U-D. No, you've been skimming off this place's till. How much you clep already? What the fuck are you talking about? Talking about the eddies you skim from Cloud's accounts on a weekly basis. Not skimming anything, I don't have to be a fool. Doesn't matter. I'm just curious what the Tiger Claw leadership is gonna think once they find out. Won't think anything because it ain't fucking true. I work with the dolls. Cloud's account's got shit to do with me. You sneaky little shit. Kudos to you for hatching this one. This conversation's starting to bore me. Humor me, will ya? This particular piece of ass, out of all of them, why? She wasn't even that good. She was hot, I'll give you that. But for all the delusions of grandeur, she was nothing more than a basic whore. And like all basic whores, she got what was coming, as will you. Yep. Uh, real guns, please. Real guns, please. Fuck. Oh, I don't have a gun. Shit, that's bad. Uh... That's not actually useful. Ping. They didn't take my grenades? No. I forgot they took my guns away, so I was kind of fucked. Oh, do I have to, I, Yeah, I probably have to skip through all that dialogue now. Wait, I need to, I should have healed, and I also need to spend more time trying to... react better. But also, my grenades still work? Why do my grenades still work? What kind of grenades are equipped? I'll just equip better grenades. <laughs> oh, we're here. Biohazard grenade. Listen, oh, I must have found those around here somewhere. Not doing great at this gunfight, are you? You don't get to heal. Stop that. Well, aren't you the king of fuck ups? You're not helping. Now what? Hell, why don't you just scan the truth from his gray, lifeless eyes? Or scour his cup. That just might work. His gray, lifeless eyes? I punched him a bunch. He's probably not dead. He probably would go down before he would die. Not just be like, oh, that was the exact punch that killed him. The one that made him go down. I don't think the outside world knows there's anything happened here, which is funny because guns were fired. Okay, so let's use this. Are there dates on these things? No. Sold her off to a ripper. Chip was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toys wet dream. Bad dragon. Goods are taken care of. Round up five or six girls and two guys, but make sure they're actually young, not like last time. The Woodsman to Golden Fingers. Or do you specialize in joy toys? Got one here that's busted up pretty bad. Mind having a look? Ask for me at Clouds. What's wrong with her? Think I'd be asking you if I knew? Just come over and look. Alright, bring her here. Got a clinic on Jig Jag, side alley off Poplar. 
how much you charge. Depends. We'll work something out. Worst case, you leave her here for a small fee. From Jerry O'Connell to Woodman. Message me back about that job at Clouds. Got another offer. Gotta give them an answer. Not, uh, not like they're gonna wait forever. That's not how it works. I'm not in charge of hiring. Send a portfolio. Oh, so now you're telling me to send a portfolio. Because that's not what you said last time when you wanted to fuck me, asshole. Do Ginger Lane Investigation Services. Hey, Ginger, how's things? Hope you're in top, top shape as usual and you haven't literally sucked all, the, all your badge contacts bone dry yet. I need a hollow view stat. I know the pigs have one that's preem. Wrangle one for me. I also need you to do some sniffing around here. Wrangle? Go wrangle yourself. Let's start over. And the little orgy you had with the dolls? Well, they scroll everything. If you don't want your dear husband to get an email from me, I'm gonna need that hollow view morning. Uh, hollow view tomorrow. Morning. Fine. So the- so the, uh, the dolls record everything? That completely defeats the purpose of the anonymity. So that's a lie, or he's lying there. From Maiko Maeda, which is probably her bo his boss. One more shit show like, like with Evelyn Parker and you can kiss your job goodbye. Hiromi's words. So far we put up with your crude behavior towards employees and turned a blind eye when, we, when you beat up a client, but this? This was beyond the pale. He's about to shoot me. Well, he did shoot me. I'm just bullet resistant. <laughs> to Hiromi, Se Hiromi Seto. Hey boss, solve the Parker problem. Send her to a ripper on Jig Jig Street. The guy's name is Fingers. Though he should be called Face. Anyway, we should take care of- he should take care of her from here. Face. What's his deal? So we can't open this door for some reason? Yeah, he's alive. I don't know why they acted like he was dead. Uh, are those alarms mean that they're currently alarmed? Yes, basically. I want to get in here before he spots me. Cause there's stuff in here. A 300 DPS knife? Bit much, isn't it? Kenshin. Kadachi. New Spring Catalog. Kenshiri Adachi Armaments. Our mission. At Kendachi, we are creators. We care about our customer satisfaction and their budget. By choosing our products, you can be confident no euro dollar invested goes to waste. Kendachi, the choice is obvious. They've got a power sword. Different weapons, twin blade, mono wire. Reading about weapons isn't very interesting to me. Incident report. Oh. Let's see. Commotion in VIP area. Client's VIP card expired. All currently employed security called for emergency. Tiger Claws reinforcements called. Fight between two clients, escorted off premises. Doll called security, client was threatening her. Client escorted off premises. Problem with payment, friend paid for client. Client refused to leave club, escorted off premises. Flint and white, shift change. Client lost consciousness at the bar, recovered by trauma team. Fight broke out at the entrance, payment was rejected, client was making a scene. Doll beat up. Client fainted in a booth, resuscitated by a doll. Group of three clients refused to leave club, escorted off premises. It's also like weird formatting. Some of them have a dash after them and some of them have a colon after them and I'm not sure which one is which. That's weird. Right there, see that? 2 a.m. they hauled every last security man to the club. It looks like they called Tiger Claws for backup too. Shit was going down evidently. 
Now my job is to leave. Ah! Dodge on accident. Is he just watching this direction? I think he is. Let's try going somewhere else. Oh, there's sodas. I was like, is there really a gun machine after the no guns checkpoint? <laughs> Seems like a bad idea. Is this wait, is this going to be a, an easy way out? I do need to get my weapons back from the gun locker. Well. <laughs> I can't believe that worked so far. Fuck, I can't get past this wall though, can I? Oh, here we go. Closed door? Good thing he doesn't hear the loud door. I'm close. Oh shit, this is important. It's familiar. What's that? Evelyn's jacket. It's crumpled like a tissue. He must have been here a while. And money. That's always fun. The cocktail stick? Industrial shutter. It's setting is set to on. Can I turn it off? I'm not really given an option, am I? Interact with this? Oh, open. Oh, is this my exit? Oh, this is working out. I'm now outside the building. I just need to get down alive. Uh, unless there's no way out of here. It's really funny that the big heavy mechanical door is apparently making no noise. Why was a condom in a lockbox? And that was all that was in there? This is my outdoor condom from when I need a condom outdoor, but only right here. Is there really no exit? What? This feels like it's so much like a, like a way out. These things aren't even attached. These are like awkwardly stacked pieces of metal. Why can't I get out of here? That should have been my out. That's annoying. So then I, I don't think coming this way actually gave me a different way out. But I want to be a sneaky boy. How do I sneak out of this dungeon? Stay out of line of sight of the other guy. Who might be hard to get. There you go, buddy. Yeah, I don't think you can. I don't think you can get away with ghosting because this guy's really in here. Die for a blood Jesus. Okay. So much for stealth. He filled up immediately. Uh, shit. I still haven't equipped a gun. R.I.P. Stealth. Well, you get to be the one survivor, congrats. Who's your 
They lost me real quick. I don't think they're happy I'm here. I get the distinct feeling we're not going to get along. Are the cameras turned back on? They're probably back on. Fixed it. You are very far away, sir. Oh, thank you. Ooh. What do you do? What does this weapon do? Oh, it has a bleed chance. Okay. That was bleeding, apparently. I thought it said- I thought it saw like a radioactive icon or something. But I don't- I don't think I see a mention of... Any- of like radioactive damage or poison. But I- I applied a dot. Anybody else? Hi. Don't mind me just make getting my money back by looting every single person I see. I could have gotten out of here safely and you guys wouldn't have had to die. Your shutters had to be weirdly impenetrable. Okay. What did it bounce off? It bounced back at me, like there was something in the way. That's some uh, really good shooter AI we're dealing with right now. <laughs> Where they just stand still. Anybody else? Yeah, it is a bad situation. Come on out. Come on out, buddy. Pretty sure you're right there. There he is. He's still not coming out. Oh, there he goes. There we go. Oh, stop that. Rude. Ah, dang it. Listen, I didn't really want to kill everybody today, but you guys made it hard. Is this guy still alive? I guess he is. How did I, how did I do that? <laughs> how did I spare him, specifically, apparently? Well, never sneak up on me. I'm complete stealth mode. Hi. Hello. Am I still not heavy enough? Cool, that's good. Hello. Would you like to provide me with any additional information now that the situation has changed? I think that's the end of her AI. Well, see you later. Nice meeting, y'all. It was nice to look at a lot of purple today. That was, that was nice. Oh, right, there's more guys out here. They probably also know I'm coming. Oh, okay. I thought I saw an exclamation point over here, but I don't see anything here. I'm a little confused by that.
Can I just jump? Oh, he's a little slighty. I don't think that's an intended plan uh, way out of here. Uh, I wish the game had more... Uh, I'm in combat, right? So I can't save. If I go back over here, can I save? How long does combat stay active? Just all the time? Yeah. This game doesn't really have any kind of... Just, just to add to the list of issues, I guess. This game doesn't really have, like, a stealth system. Like... Alert, like an alert system where it's like there's a uh, rising and falling of alertness like when you're on a mission if you get caught in any way that's it you're just in permanent combat mode for the rest of the mission like that's really disappointing normally what happens like obviously the obviously the guards know that an alert happened but like normally the normally there's like some sort of state of like oh we're, we're uh, oh god get him he's right there and then they lose track of you so then they're like oh now we're searching and we're cautious and then at some point, they're like, well, fucking, I don't know where he is. Keep an eye out. And then that's when they revert to not quite their original state because there has been an alert now. So they'll be in like a heightened state, but not active combat. And there's, there's multiple reasons why it's frustrating that that's not there. One, it's just more mechanical depth and a more interesting stealth system that games with stealth have. Like, this game masquerades as a bunch of things. Like, it masquerades as a shooter, but it doesn't feel like a shooter. And like, it doesn't have shooter AI and so on. It, it wants to be an open world game, but it doesn't have open world mechanics. It wants to be a stealth game, but it doesn't have stealth mechanics. It wants to have cops, but not have cop mechanics. Like, they just don't actually f follow through with any of these ideas. They just gesture broadly towards them as a concept and then stop. Like, the fact that you're just in combat mode the rest of the mission is frustrating for that reason. It's also frustrating just because they, they turn off saving, and it's like, I'm not in combat right now. I should be, like, this transition should be a time I can save. In part, because I want to experiment. And also, you know, fuck off. Like, we've had quick save, quick load for the longest time, and it's up to the player if they if they, if they want to have, like, an honor system of, like, no, I don't want to quick save in the middle of mission because I want my death to have consequences, versus if they want to quick save right now because I want to jump off a cliff and see if I can do it or not. Like, I want to see if I can jump on that air conditioning unit, unit and figure out how to get down to the floor without dying. That sounds fun, but I don't want to restart the entire mission because quicksave is turned off for no reason. Also, everyone's cowering, but they're not running away. Everyone in this entire place, except this adorable guy who seems to be wearing headphones and doesn't seem to know that anything's going on right now. I guess neither none of these guys notice either, but all these guys are cowering. Like, they're cowering like extras in a, in a show would do. They're not running away. They're not reacting at all. It's not even apparent that there's any particular threat right now because there's not a gunfight happening. They're all just like in their position to hide in and they're just saying all this stuff's falling down. They're just kind of hiding like this and that's just what they do now. Yeah. So hold on. Nice work hold back on. there. Ever thought of applying for the diplomatic corps? That's infidelity. Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. <laughs> of course you do. You'd have loved to have dropped the H bomb on this place. No need to go so OTT. I've got other methods. One thing's for sure, though. Claus won't forget this. You think Fingers got her? I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. We're, these people are just hanging out, having a chat. What's that? Is this phone? This is his phone. I guess we're just in combat. Yeah, we're just in combat mode because they decided you're permanently in combat mode during this mission. It looks like I can like roam in like a really huge open area that has nothing to do with the mission. But I'm not allowed to leave combat mode for a while. Damn it. I'm frustrated just because I saw a fun thing I wanted to try, and I can't try it unless I... Because the, there's a decent chance that I'll just die instantly, which is why I wanted to quick save. But I can't quick save. So I'll just have to not do it, I guess. Huh. I'll take the elevator.
Jesus Christ. That's a little on the nose. Just straight up having a suicide ad is already fucked, but also like having it right next to the Second Amendment ad. It's like, wow, you have the right to buy a gun to shoot yourself. It's like, I... Jeez. I was right. I should have just jumped off the fucking balcony. You tried. It fell flat. Now you are flat. Don't look in any condition to find help. Now I'm getting drugged. I was right. Fuck. The hell's that? No, no, no. Damn it. Jesus. The fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. I'm gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I gotta get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we gotta have century-old score neat settling, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. Never been recruited into a terrorist cell before. Feel Listen, kinda honored, I actually. know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. You know you're just an irritating hallucination, right? Should just ignore you. And you're a walking corpse. Should just wait till your mind shrivels to nothing and frees up space for me. You fucking asshole. But as should be obvious, I've decided to help you. Need to find something first. Seven letters. Starts with an M. Don't trust you. Clear, right? So why would I trust in your plan? Because you've heard your death knell, but you'd rather live. So if you're done bitching, I'd be happy to explain. Sound good? Okay, so... This Mikoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Yeah, seen the memories. Did a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and boils you, you die. But the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Mikoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of where it stores its victims' engrams. I just realized there's a floating cigarette in the middle of this conversation. Because <laughs> it, it always has to be breaking in at least one way. Still don't see how Mikoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are ya? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. 
It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bomb's named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet. But you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi. Watch yourself. Am I good? I thought I got gassed or something. What did I see back there? Problem? problem is I have poor special awareness because I've got a video game protagonist being piloted by a person that doesn't exist in your reality. Any more questions? So I guess that was the end of the quest and there was no one else to fight, so I was in combat mode for no reason. It's the game just wasting my time. The dog boob ad is distressing still. That's incredibly... that's incredibly relevant discussion all of a sudden. We'll be talking about the exact thing that, uh... we just talked about. Targeted ads are getting really powerful. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do, 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 do. Ah! Nope. 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 Hard nope. Not even kind of supported as a, as a feature. <laughs> There's straight up a kill box that just fucks you if you go anywhere south of the balcony. Alright, well, good to know. Drag that off the list of ways this game could have been interactive. I kind of was like hunting for any possible level of be of the game being more interesting basically. Like every single moment of that encounter I was like, what if I try this? What if I try this? What if I try this? Oh, what about this? So I was like, oh, oh man, maybe this will work. And all of my excited ideas are a waste of time, none of them work. Like, oh my god, all this stealth around, maybe I can avoid these guards entirely. Oh, these shutters go to the outside world, maybe there's a way down on the outside, like a fire escape? No. It's a weird, it's just a weird sky cage with condoms in it. What? <laughs> oh, maybe I can, like, jump on these air conditioning units to get downstairs without getting caught anymore, which little did I know the, the mission was already over. They were just telling me I was in combat when they were lying, because I actually wasn't in combat. There was no more mission left. But no, there's a kill box there, so... You can't do that. You you have to see you have to witness the scripted elevator scene, and that's the only way to finish the mission. I'm sorry, sir. Could we have a moment of your time? Well, what is it this time? The pipe that burst in our building. Those city bastards still haven't sent anyone to fix it. Watch your language. Can't you see who you're talking to? Please. Yeah, can you see who you're talking to? He's got a giant floating skull over his head. That means he's real dangerous. I think the guy was naked a second ago and then materialized the X jacket. <laughs> like, huh? What's happening? There's another Ripper dock around here. Yes, Johnny. Oh my. The place has a wicked vibe. So this more up your alley than clouds. Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. I think clouds you knew what you were getting too. I guess not really, it was a surprise, but after once you pretty much know what you're getting. Slow down. The guy just descended into the floor. 
He just sank into the concrete right in front of me. Is he gonna do it too? Do it. No? Does he have a pink Batman on a thing on his icon? Wait, where'd he go? Oh. Can I, can I sink through the floor here? I want that power. Wait, where'd the... Oh, it's way the hell over there. I thought it was right there. Snatch them up. Surprise them? Oh, no. Uh. No, I don't have anything for you, honestly. I think these are penis replacements. One of them's just a caterpillar. Just, what? What, what is... <laughs> Surprise them is pulling a lot of... What are you doing? <laughs> doing some heavy lifting in that sentence. Surprise them. <laughs> They'll be very surprised when your penis is a caterpillar. Or maybe not that surprised if there's just ads for it everywhere. Just like spelling it out. Because whenever, whenever there's an ad in this universe, it's everywhere. There's like four of them. Are you a mannequin? Hey, not one step closer. Here to see who. Sup? Are you from House Party, Frank? No, I don't. Think I'd be doing this job. I know you said not one step closer, but I literally can't talk to you unless I enter the dialogue radius, so I'm gonna have to step closer. Looking for a ripper doc. Goes by fingers. See, know where I can find him? So Who's asking? And so why? Got some classics How's it going, dude? Probably if you're looking for something fresher. Got a problem with an implant. Not from around here. Couldn't find another ripper in the city to patch you up. What do you look for? Fingers was the best. Yeah, the best for joy girls. Are you a whore? An escort for special tastes. Looking for a ripper who can cater to my special needs. Good. Fingers will like you. Let him through. Well, that was easy enough. That guy has a mohawk mullet. Full combo. A hawklet? What do you call it? Hands off her. Think I'm scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every mox in town descends on this shithole. No, no. You got a financial claim? Take it to court. court. And, and it's a nine. Don't turn off the lights. Because <laughs> <laughs> summer <laughs> means <laughs> rain. Means I have to sit I in the basement the whole time. With bloody stains and brood. This is a lot of yelling to deal with at once. Hey, you all right. I hate water. Can't you see nobody cares? Fingers. Know where I can find him? If I could, I'd swap, you know? Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted? In the end, only I got left to shredded cables and empty bottles. Fingers. Know where I can find him? I got ten right here. <laughs> Under the influence of drugs. Accurate. Do the collectible cards ever do anything? I kind of have a theory that the number of cards that are everywhere might have been placeholders in case they ever decided to implement a video game, uh, a game in this game, like a like a side game. Maybe even just Gwent. Maybe just a cyberpunk vert like reskin of Gwent. Uh, so they put card placeholders everywhere in case they wanted to replace them later. I keep looking at them, I'm like, normally a game, these would be like... Oh. She's dead. Cerning. The, uh... Blood lost. The, um... Yeah, every time I see, I pick up another card, I think it's gonna be a collectible, like I'm supposed to be getting more of them for some reason. But... No, it's just a random card. That's it.
What was that? Roma Corline. Oh, America, a prophecy. The terror answered, I am Orc, wreathed round the accursed tree. The times are ended, shadows pass, the mornings, the morning gins to break, the fiery joy that arisen perverted to ten commands. What night he led the starry hosts through the, through the wide wilderness. That, stone lo, uh, that stony law I lamp to dust and scatter religion abroad. To the four winds I am torn, to the four winds as a torn book, and none shall gather the leaves. But they shall rot on desert sands and consume in bottomless deeps, to make the desert blo deserts blossom, and the deep the deeps shrink to their fountains, and to renew the fiery joy, and burst the stony roof, that pale religious lechery seeking virginity, may find it in a harlot, and in coarse-clad honesty. The undefiled, though ravished in her cradle, night and morn, for everything that lives is holy, life delights in life. Because the soul of sweet delight can never be defiled, fires enwrap the earthly globe, yet man is not consumed. Amidst the lustful fires he walks, his feet become like brass, his knees and thighs like silver, and his breast and head like gold. <laughs> 